everybody. This is Terry Nance. Welcome to the Armor Bear Awakening. I bless you in the name of Jesus and something good is going to happen to you today. Take that, say that every minute you think about it. Give God praise today. The devil's a liar. Uh, the Holy Spirit is moving and God's got a purpose and a calling on your life today. So you just be uh, released in the name of Jesus. If you enjoy the broadcast, be sure and uh, subscribe and then send it to others uh, that you know. If you know one person, man, they need to hear this and do that for me because this is going to bless them and minister to them. Then, of course, if you d- desire our books or you desire for me to uh, talk to you, I'm a mentor and coach and I would love to have you a part of my program. You can just go to the uh, website and you can find out all about that. And let me say this also. I really know that this is a new season in my life. It's a season that I am really releasing for the, I mean, the rest of my life, I, I, I feel this is my calling. That is to sow this everywhere I can go. So I do need partners, uh, people who would partner with me monthly uh, to help me do this. And I have not really put out, I've got mentoring people who, who yes, they give me money, uh, for coaching and mentoring, but I don't have any partners, those who just partner monthly. And I've got to raise up a partnership base. And so if God speaks to your heart, I, w- I would really appreciate it. You can go to my website and do that. And I thank you for that in advance, whatever God speaks to your heart. So we appreciate that. Paul uh, blessed the church at Philippi and said, you're the only ones who partnered with me in the ministry. The way we accomplish things is through partnership. So I really appreciate it. If you would do that, pray about it, consider it. Uh, now, I'm just really sharing revelation that really changed my life, that made the difference in my life when it came to being an armor bearer. And there wasn't anything uh, greater than the revelation of spiritual authority. Uh, I was always the type of person that I didn't, I didn't, uh, uh, I would do anything that I, that I was supposed to do. And somebody asked me to do it as long as it was fair and it was right. Uh, if something was done and, and it probably had to do because I'm a twin. So my twin brother get in trouble and my parents would say, well, the two of you are going to do this. And I'd go, wait a minute. I had nothing to do with that. And they say, well, we don't know that. And so you're guilty by association. And I used to say, that's not fair. Well, they'd say it doesn't make any difference. This is what you're going to do. And I, man, I had a streak of stubbornness that I would say, you know what? You can beat me till my head falls off. I ain't doing it. I'll, I would, I would do it if I was guilty. And I mean, so man, I had to really go through some internal things to uh, break that stubbornness and that hard headedness off of me because I want to tell you something, and I hate to tell you this, but in life, not everything is fair. And I want you to remember that. Uh, it sure wasn't fair when Jesus was, was condemned to death. And it's not fair when, when you, you pay a price for someone else. No, that's fair sometimes doesn't have a thing to do with it. It is in life, there are things you have to submit to, whether it's fair or not, as long as it doesn't violate the scripture. Now, you guys know that, but in me, man, I had to really, really work on some things so that I could get my heart right because of this. And when I, when I got the revelation of spiritual authority and I realized that authority is not going anywhere authority is here to stay and that I have to, I have to submit to authority. When I began to see the scriptures on submitting to authority in Romans 13, one, let every soul be subject to the governing authorities. Uh, and there's no authority except from God. So any authority in the earth, this is not just talking about uh, local governments. It's talking about church government. And there is a government that God set up in the church. And I know there are those who just, man, they want to kick against that. They don't. Nobody, the Holy Spirit leads me. Well, if the Holy Spirit leads you, why don't, why don't you read his book? There you go. 
Why don't you read the Holy Spirit's book if he's the one leading you? Because you don't know his book. You don't know his word. So you're not being led by the spirit. You're being led by your stubbornness or rebellion. And so you've got to learn to submit to this. And the, the key is this right here. When I saw this, it helped me. The authority rests on the office. It does not rest on the individual. The individual is in a office of authority. So I submit myself to that office, whether fair, good, bad. I mean, they can be bad or whatever. Now, if it's a terrible, abusive situation, go find some other place. I mean, uh, unless the Holy Spirit tells you, be still, go, go through this time because I've got something for you. Now, I've been around abusive leaders. I've preached for abusive leaders and just thought, oh my gosh, I don't need to be preaching this to the congregation. I mean, to be talking about the guy behind me. He needs some help because he's killing his staff and, and, and that's just a hierarchy mentality and it's a top down leadership. You know, you, you've got to learn to be relational. We all do. Uh, so, uh, but what, what I want you to know is the authorities on the office. And when I saw that, then it helped me because if the office was good, I can work with it. If the office is having problems, I can work with it. If the office is just a little sour today, I can work with it. Why? Because the authorities on the office, you take the individual out of the office, their authority is gone. And so, and I will tell you something about God. He'll move you out. He'll move people out if they abuse their authority. So you rest in that revelation today. The authority is on the office, not on the individual. God bless you. And I release the anointing of the Holy Spirit in your life.